Please welcome our next speaker, Victoria Lukasik. She's from Wildlife Geography, and her supervisor is Dr. Shelley Alexander. Victoria's 3MT talk title is Examining a Deadly Paradigm, Western Canadian Carnivore Management. We are currently entering a period of mass extinction. Our planet has not seen this kind of rate of species loss in 65 million years. And because the web of life is so interconnected, the loss of even a few species can result in a collapse of entire ecosystems, ecosystems that you and I depend upon. Now, good news is things like large carnivores can help to protect biodiversity, cougars, coyotes, wolves, and others. They do this by helping to regulate both the populations and the movements of their prey species, things like deer, elk, and so on. And by doing so, they help to make sure there's enough resources in that environment to ensure other species can also habitat in the same area. So things like you know, frogs and fish and birds and so forth. Now Yellowstone National Park is a great place where we've seen this happen. In the early 1900s, there was an extermination of wolves by humans. And eventually, the elk populations boomed and that habitat declined to a point where many other species started to die out or at least decline. In the mid-90s, people reintroduced wolves to Yellowstone National Park. Now that's been less than 20 years ago and already that habitat has really bounced back. In Canada, we're lucky. We have a lot of large carnivores across most of this country, but you'd be surprised how we manage them. Now keep in mind, these predators are territorial, so they mostly regulate their own populations. However, our management equals lethal control. Things like culls, poisons, traps, aerial gunning, and more. Why is this? Well, that is what I'm trying to understand better in my PhD research. I'm interviewing managers across Alberta, British Columbia, and Yukon Territory to find out which decisions they make in terms of carnivore management and how do they make them. Is it based upon their own experiences? How about um, their perceptions and values? Or maybe uh, public or political pressures? Perhaps they're just doing what they've always done or what someone else told them to do without questioning it. Now, if that is the case, does this kind of tradition really equal justification? Are these practices really ethical? Now, before we can ever change something, we must understand it better. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's why I'm trying to understand this paradigm of killing in the name of management and conservation. Scientists, Canadians, and everyone are increasingly suggesting that we need to change this paradigm. And if we do so, we can ensure that our future generations have healthy, intact ecosystems. Let's make sure that we don't go the way of the dinosaurs. Thank you.